Hi everyone, I'm Ben. I'm a project manager here at ThoughtFarmer, and today I'm going to introduce you to our latest release, ThoughtFarmer 10. ThoughtFarmer 10 is a big release for us because it's the launch of a new platform, a native mobile app, which is available right now on both iOS and Android. Our product team's been working hard in the mobile app to make sure it did two things perfectly. First, we wanted to make sure it took full advantage of the features that are unique to mobile. Second, we wanted to make sure the app faithfully supports the full ThoughtFarmer experience. Anything that employees can do in ThoughtFarmer right now, you can also do in the app. Let's take a quick look inside. First, the app has the benefit of persistent login. This means users will remain logged in unless they explicitly choose to log out. Once you're logged in, you'll feel right at home. All of the customizations that have been made to your existing internet will carry over to the new app. Your logos, your color palette, iconography, custom fonts, everything is there adapted for the mobile screen. The first screen you'll see is your home screen. Here, my personalized news feed is pinned to the top and as I scroll down the page, you'll see all the other cards from my homepage stacked neatly underneath. You can interact with any of the items or elements on the page, whether it's liking or commenting on a post, following a new group, or even giving a shout out to a colleague. If you ever need to get back to your homepage, you can use the shortcut that is docked to the bottom left of the screen. Next to that, you'll find your bookmarks and history tabs and your group pages shortcut. Next to your group pages is the alert section, which defaults to your notifications tab. One of the major benefits of any native app is mobile notifications. For ThoughtFarmer 10, we've extended the functionality of the broadcast feature to include push notifications. Now you can get critical information out to employees no matter where they are. If you have permission, you can even create broadcast push notifications from inside the app. All of ThoughtFarmer's powerful features are available directly in the native app. It's not just sending push notifications. You can also manage required reading, create and submit forms, all from your Android or iPhone. Search is available in the top right corner of the app. We pride ourselves in the depth of our search functionality, so we made sure to include all the search-related bells and whistles in the app. Searches you type, best bets, did you mean, they're all still present and correct, as is the ability to search within your connected cloud apps, such as Microsoft, Google, or Box.com. Access to your full site content is available in the menu in the top right corner. This includes the people directory and interactive org chart. You can search for people, and once you've found who you're looking for, you can tap to email, tap to call, or even download their contact information right to your device. The ThoughtFarmer app is available for download in the App Store and Play Store right now. If you have any questions about getting started, your customer success manager will be happy to walk you through the process. This video has covered the updates for ThoughtFormer 10, but the full list of updates is available in our release notes on the ThoughtFormer community site. From all of us here at ThoughtFormer, we hope you're doing well and staying safe, and we'll see you soon for our next release.